So the first thing is that the gender gap in STEM is not because of a difference in women and men's ability, but rather it's because there are these sociocultural expectations of who makes an ideal scientist or an engineer or techie and what STEM is all about. Um, and the prototype of an ideal scientist or engineer is very masculine. And what happens is that this stereotype, which is much more male-centric, is inconsistent with feminine gender role expectations. There are three solutions that I think uh, I would focus on, and all of them are based on very strong evidence. One is to change the way in which STEM fields are framed. So there's a lot of research showing that girls and women are much more interested in STEM when it's framed as fields that are people-oriented, that focus on solving real problems, and where there's a clear pathway from the classes students take now to their career goals in the future. And when we can amplify those kinds of ways of framing STEM fields as communal, collaborative, problem solving, that's one way, one important way to get more girls and women in STEM. The second one is to increase students' exposure to female scientists and engineers as their professors, as their teachers, as role models they see in the media. That too, my work has shown, um, increases women's confidence in their ability, increases their career aspirations, and increases their, their motivation to persist. And finally, in fields where there are very few women, um, increasing women's opportunity to work in teams where there's a critical mass of same-sex peers, where they don't feel like they're the only one, uh, is another way to increase women's confidence, decrease worries and anxiety, and increase willingness to speak up and engage in STEM-related activities. I know that it's often really easy to think of prejudice as being hardwired, but if there is one important lesson from social psychology is that is not prejudice is not at all hardwired. In fact, it's entirely learned. It's true that we have this automatic tendency to like people who are like us and people who are familiar to us over people who are different. But the boundaries between who us is and who them is is really fluid can be shifted around simply as a function of making people aware of a different identity that brings two people together who otherwise belong to different groups.